allegedly the person that we went to high school with. He was pickpocketing in Bali. Yeah, or like just stealing like That's valuables. So yeah, random stuff like that. And then there was one night where he got drunk at a bar, kicked up a massive fuss, had a massive fight, and then went to prison. And then obviously under investigation, then had that. Was stuck in prison over there for I. Th- oh. I could be wrong here, but I think maybe three three weeks, maybe a month. That's terrible. And all that. And- hey, it's Johnny, it is Mario Kyle with Two Eyes. We're back on every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, 7 a.m. on Spotify and 4.30 p.m. on YouTube. Mate, do Hit. I have some news for you? Hit me. So you were just saying that you've been going on Reddit? Yep. All that? I'm intrigued. Dark places. It can, it can definitely be. It's, it's a scary place to the internet. That, Reddit's that the wild, wild west of the internet. It is, man. There's bits and pieces of everything. It is. But there's been some, I want to say, quite interesting things happening, more so specifically in the US. There's always something going on in the I US. know, right? You're not wrong. But, mate, Super Bowl Monday, before the Super Bowl happened, I went. I jumped on Twitter. I always like to jump on Twitter, have a, have a scroll. Three UFO sightings in the US, one Chinese spy balloon that's been shot down, and a mass shooting, all within the same week. Yeah, they have a lot of mass shootings. It's ridiculous. Yeah, we we don't get any of that. Here. It's ridiculous. There's actually, I, my, I had a good friend on Facebook, and I'll just go find him right now, so I do apologise for everyone listening on Spotify. If there was a school shooting like there was in the US in Australia, it would be on the news for a solid two weeks nonstop. So 47 days into 2023? Yep. 63 mass shootings in the US. Do you know what clarifies a mass shooting though? I heard that it has to be somewhere like in the double digits. That's ridiculous though. 63 already Mm. in 40... Seven days. Oh it's 2023. Imagine what that figure is at the end of the year. Ugh. And and they still won't ban or diminish destroy guns because yeah. it's freedom. <laughs> no, it is. That that's that's that that's what they call freedom is owning a gun. Because how else can I protect how can I protect my family from yeah. from us getting robbed? I can give it another twenty to fifty years and it, it will be gone because, and you know why I say that? I saw a video the other day. Is this because of the change of people coming through? Uh, yes. So like the, that, they'll have different ideas, different ideologies, like 100%. how the world should be run? Yeah, 100%. But I saw a video um, and it was people getting interviewed that the, the law had changed where you cannot drink alcohol in your car like while you drive anymore. And you have to wear a seatbelt. And all these people... When wait, 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 wait. This law's just happened in the US. No. I was going to no, say. No, I was like, saying, I was like, no, no. A oh, long time oh, ago. Cool. Because I was yeah. going to say, I was like, um, <laughs> why is this only just getting passed? That is incredibly like... That should have been done like ages ago. No, no. So this happened a long time ago. And what I'm saying is when that happened... They were interviewing people and they were like, they're taking away our rights. Like, how dare they? What do you mean? You can't have a drink and drive. You, what? What They have, they first had to take away and make sure we had the seatbelt. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, it's the country is just going down the drain. And then you look back and you go, that's absurd. Yeah, that's that ridiculous. That thought process is fucking stupid. And I feel like the same is going to happen with guns. I feel like give it 20 well, to 50 years to. and people are going to be like, I can't believe that you could just walk it. In America, you can just walk in and buy a gun in Walmart and you don't need a background check. Well, that's a th- like here in Australia. Like a proper background check. I feel like the only time that I usually see any gun related violence per se is from the bikies. Yeah. And, and realistically, unless you're involved in that world, it doesn't even really get hurt. Like, I'm sure there is gun violence happening. And stuff, but as even mass shooting, I think the last mass shooting that I can recall was one in Port Arthur in Tasmania. Honestly. Where the guy let same. loose on that like island, which I've been it's a pretty eerie feeling. Mm. Yeah, there we have nothing like that. In any way, we don't have mass shootings, we don't have pe- we we have no massive incidents. You might have a few people brawling, and then we've had we had that incident where um uh, a few more gangs are bringing weapons out to clubs and, you know, someone died. They got 
um, stabbed in the neck. Yeah. And that video went viral. Um, and yeah. that was horrible. I had a mate who said he saw it and he said it was like just, I it was so did bad. See today, Channel 7 News reported there was a guy trying to rob a car, two men trying to rob a car in, I think it was Cranbourne. That's what the article said when I loaded up. These people, the owners of the house came out and they thought they were robbing, like they were trying to break into this guy's car, beat him to a body pole. The cops rocked up to the scene as he was getting resuscitated in the ambulance, he passed away. They and got- the comment section, the person that was trying to allegedly steal, like rob the car, got beaten to a, to a pulp to the point that he passed away. And the comment section, because I was like, wow, mm. I'm intrigued because I'm just, I wonder where people are. The amount of comments that were in support of the people that beat him to a bloody pole, though, I was like genuinely like in a bit of shock because they're like, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. This guy deserved it. Like, there's so much ceiling going on. Yada yada yada. Another person was like, oh, I hope this was the person that tried to like rob me and my nan the other day. Definitely deserved what was coming to him. And then obviously there's other people like, violence isn't the answer. Like, no, this isn't right and stuff like that. I'm like, wow, that's. Mm. Crazy. You can say violence isn't the answer, but if you had a stranger walking around your house that you knew, like I've got, I've got blinds that um, during the daytime no one can see in, right? But I can see out. So if it's nighttime and I have my lights on, people can see in, yeah. right? So when I turn them off, I can see outside, and sometimes I'll see some weird things on the street, or um, sometimes it could just be a possum. Plain and simple. If I saw someone just casually walking into my backyard, mate, there, I, I don't care who it is. I would want someone in my, I would want someone protecting the house. 110% you would. I wouldn't just be like, oh, maybe I can have a chat with them and make sure that this, they could maybe be on a better path and I'll help them. Mm, I don't know. Don't get me wrong. I don't think someone should lose a life. But on the other hand, he got beat. If he survived and went to the police station, bit of a slap on the wrist and he'd be back out. That's That was another – I'm so glad you brought that up because that was the other argument. They were like, well, maybe if you actually gave them a proper punishment instead of just releasing them back on the streets, stuff like this never would happen in the first place. Mm-hmm. They're, they're, the punishments aren't even um, close to where they should be. They should – it should be completely focused on you're now cleaning the community – and you're fixing and you're helping people. Somehow it should be integrated that way. But fuck me, you should be doing it for... It should be... If I go into... Let's just say something simple or Woolworths. And I steal... I mean, people accidentally put things in their trolleys all the time. But if I steal something... Yeah, on purpose. Uh, yeah, like 50, 100 bucks. I should know that if I do this, five years community service. I, it should, it, it changes it, everything. It, it does. Granted, there's always going to be people that commit crimes. Like you're not going to ever stop that. Yeah. But you might make the odd person here or there really think twice about their actions. Mm. But there should also be, with su- such a hefty punishment like that, there should also be outlets where, if people are struggling so much, where they're like, "Okay, I need this item, otherwise I'm I'm in massive trouble." There should be outlets where they can go and talk to someone and somehow get help it shouldn't just be like nah you're going you're going to jail or you're just gonna you have to get you're gonna get a massive punishment there should be like there's options for you so you've chosen to go out of your way and put yourself in this position we have outlets that where we can help you we've got housing we can feed you don't get me wrong we're not going to be able to feed you like lobster and steak yeah but, but we can give you fruit, veg, and make sure you've got enough for the day. So, yeah, I'll, I'll just never, ever side with someone who goes out of their way to make other people, like innocent people, their life hell. I just find it crazy that, and usually we see it in America, the punishments for their crimes, some of them are absurd. And usually... For I'm, marijuana. That, oh, that's the exact one that I wanted to mention. You could get caught with sweet fuck all on you. And that's years in prison. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a drunk driver that's genuinely like killed, like hit and run or whatever. And the the it makes it literally no I don't under I can't comprehend I actually cannot comprehend how the fuck they've come to that conclusion. Yeah, it's incredibly backwards. Yeah, it is backwards. The weed thing alone, 
is so strange. So strange. It's just how it all started. I think it's crazy as well that depending on what state you're in, one state you're happy, it's happy days, but the next you can be locked up for years. Mm, Same with countries. So this country is where if you steal, you're getting like whipped. Oh, yeah. Well, I would never ever want to fuck around in Bali or Thailand to begin with. Oh, my God. Because country this, and I don't, I don't know if it's just people being naive or just lack of understanding different cultures. There's still countries out there that have the death penalty. Like, there's no, there's no apology. It's like you were caught. Do it. Like you're done. Yeah, you're done. done. Like genuine good luck to you. There was a person that we went to high school with that went overseas, and he got locked up in Did prison he? over there. Yes. Really? Yes. What's and the story there? So, allegedly, uh, him and a friend were staying at a villa, and when people were drinking of a night at the bars in the villa, they were, p- like, sort of pitch, pitch, pitch pocketing? Pickpocketing. Pickpocketing. Thank you. So, like, just, like, money, um, valuables, and all that. If people, people like, around the bar, or do you people mean... People around the bar, if people were, like, near the swimming pools as well, I think they were... Sort of like if they left their phones, like watches. You mean people that. in the community, not the people we went to high school with, or the people the we people went to high that school we, with? allegedly the person that we went to high school with. He was pickpocketing in Bali. Yeah, or like just stealing like That's valuables. So yeah, random stuff like that. And then there was one night where he got drunk at a bar, kicked up a massive fuss, had a massive fight, and then went to prison. And then obviously under investigation, then had that was stuck in prison over there for I. Th- oh, I could be wrong here, but I think maybe three three weeks, maybe a month. That's terrifying. And all that. And one of the boys that lives here, I think, is originally like Indonesian. Mm-hmm. Um, so obviously, new people over there, which then could help him get back. And he's never been overseas like since then. That would terrify me because and if that, someone came to grab me from my cell, I would, I would genuinely be like, "What does this mean?" Like I have, I'd no be freaking clue. out. I wouldn't want to. I don't want to go to jail as it is in Australia, let alone in another country that doesn't even speak my language. Mm-hmm. That is, that's that would have to be one of my biggest fears. It would be, yeah. And you can't reach out to anyone at home. Yeah, there's and there's like, parts. Of, you know what? I think everyone's had that fantasy right before when like someone might be acting up at like a hungry jacks or in the city, and you just go, oh. That moment in your head where it's like, imagine if I was like the tough guy that could shut them down and tell them to shut up or, you know, even if it was a fight scenario, make, embarrass them so they don't act like this again. I was watching a video on Reddit last night, plain and simple, two girls, disagreement in the car park and one girl's like, fuck this, grabs her and they're pulling their hair, doing the usual girl type of fight. They go to the ground. She picks up her hair, like she's grabbed her hair, okay? She's got the one on the ground and then she just... Pulls her hair up, pushes it against the concrete. So it's like a bang. Oh. It goes, she does it, tw- she does it twice. She goes, With like quite a bang, bit of force as well. Bang. And then on the third, she goes, bang. And you hear, a, you hear a crack. And the girl's out. Video stops. And I think one dispute where you could have just gone home, enjoyed your life, do whatever. Is that girl's a got a cracked pop. skull. You have no and idea. And there's video footage as well of the whole you, incident. Oh, you have that's no even, idea if that's blood to the brain. You have no idea if you've caused a serious long-term injury. You have no idea now if she's actually dead. That It was a distinct crack. It made me sick. This and, happens so often, though. There's so like many stupid times like, disagreements. Like, and it's oh, usually drunken, disorderly people man. where they can't just take the high road and just be like, all right, you think you're this way, I'm thinking this way. Mm. We're clearly not going to agree. Mm-hmm. We'll just call it a day. Yeah, and to any guys out there, I've never met a girl in my life who thinks it's hot that a guy no. beat up another. Never. I've never seen a girl be like, oh, my fucking God, he beat him and up. You like, should, the so worst part and if is it is, always, red flag. Red fucking flag. It's always flag. when people are intoxicated. Like, you never real. It's very rare you see two sober males yeah. have disagreements and go at it. Yeah. It's always under the influence. Cows, anyway. uh, it's ne- always under the influence and having them. some massive power trip. Well, you never see any of them get into boxing or Muay Thai or Jiu Jitsu, whatever it might be, whatever martial art, and actually get in a ring with someone who, who is talented or just does the same as them. It's people who just, for some reason, they want attention 
and throwing hands is the I yeah. I just think weird. it's more fucking embarrassing than anything. I think it's embarrassing. Especially if you're a night out with like your mates or your partner, whatever. It's like you've actually just ruined everyone's fucking night because you're trying to be a hero. Yeah. Like definitely. actually take into consideration the people around you, mate. Yeah. And what happens if it ends badly for you as well? Mm. Or why I would like then now I've they, got to now I've got to call an ambulance. Poli- like fucking yeah, hell. on the size of group, you know, you've got every group has different types. You might have the nerd type. You might have someone who's a tough guy. Might have the guy who's the fucking idiot. Um, might have the gamer. Whatever it might be, man. Imagine if you've got a group and now somehow you've brought that innocent nerd who's drove you from pre's involved in this situation and he's had the shit beat out of him. Yeah. I, it's but they don't feel bad anyway. No, like, because it's, it's, it's like, no, nah, but he's my boy. Like, you'd sick up for me. It's like, <laughs> yeah, I guess, like, you'd like to think, but at the same time, I'll, I know for a fact, if, like, a massive fight broke out, like, yeah, I'd step, but I'd also be like, great, now I'm dragged into this. Mm, I, do, do you know what was funny? It actually made me laugh. I was like, we um, uploaded a YouTube short, and in the YouTube short, um, I think I made a video, or we had a podcast where we are talking about gang violence in Australia, and... I heard a term where it's like, would you rather uh, oh, be laughed saying, at by yes. six or carried out by six? Something along those lines where it just, I'm basically saying, look, would you rather go out on a night and some people are hassling you or saying some things and you just ignore it, just mind your own business, do your own thing and you just walk off, do your own thing. Or would you rather try to react and try to somehow protect maybe your ego, next thing you know, you could get clipped, head hits the concrete and you, you're gone. And someone commented, and I, like so, he, he commented. Actually, made me laugh. It was carried by six. I ain't no bitch. And I laughed at it. And then I was like, and his name was something like Reaps X Ten. And I'm like, oh, great name. But uh, I was like, if you if you for some reason value, I don't know if it's gang mentality or just your reputation as a tough guy over. Life itself, where you don't, there is no repeat. Like, yeah, there's no respawn button. Yeah, you don't get to come back. If you're done, everything's gone. There's, there's nothing. You're kidding an idiot. yourself. <laughs> no, you know, you're, you're just fucking an idiot. Yourself. Yeah, there's no way. And if there is, like, just, I feel like a lot life's of- weird, right? So if there is an afterlife, imagine if there's a hell. If you're in actual <laughs> hell. I promise you'd be like, Jesus fucking Christ, please send me back to earth. I'll do what, I'll be the best person ever. I promise. Oh, mate. I feel like a lot of the stuff as well, it could just be done so simply just by ignoring it and walking the other direction or walk away. But or just don't get, or don't get like amused by it. Like don't buy into that. As, as frustrating as it can be, don't buy into it. Yeah. How many times have we been at school or just you see it in, like, the movies, and it might be a bully comes up to a kid and be like, oi, faggot, and, like, slam their head into, like, the locker, take their lunch, whatever. And usually it's so rare that the bullies by themselves, if you've noticed this as well, they're always backed up by, like, one or two other people. Mm. And they sort of circle you. And usually we always see it where, like, the, the kid that's being teased or pushed around pushes back, and then it, and then they get jumped or whatever. If you just look through them, which is... A lot easier said than done. I'm well aware of this. But you just look through them and don't give them the time of day. I feel like it eventually gets to the point where, like, they're they're not getting, like, off for better or for worse Mm. is the word that I'll use. Because they're just like, well, fuck. Like, we're doing everything we can to get under this person's skin and they're just not giving us anything. Like, we might as well move on to the next person. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I I don't mean... When you see people that get older, they either go one or two ways. They become a parent... And every time they talk about, no, I was a reckless kid. There's so much stuff I regret. I shouldn't have done it. My kid will never be like me. I'll make sure of that because I made some You hear that a lot, that. actually. A lot. And if they don't go down that road, they go down the other one. They're usually a drunk that hates their life. Mm. It's, two, it's two different sections. You actually hit the nail. People grow up and they go, Yeah, and you reflect. Me. Yeah, and no one at that age is liking tough guys. I'll go, yeah, that's, yeah, fuck yeah. He's, 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 it. You get older and you realise how dumb it was. I still feel like I've still come across some of those older um, older people, especially when you play against footy, and they just seem like they just want to have a fight. Yeah, some of them can't that. grow and out like, of and it. And I'm just like, the fuck is wrong? Like, mate, you're like the better part of like 34, and you're out on the footy field and you're trying to actually like fucking like deck it, like, some, like an 18, like you're mentally unstable. <laughs> like you are actually not okay. Yeah, there's some people. And if that's what you want to do, 
then get into like actual like a contact fucking like wrestle, do boxing, like do something where they get humbled. Yeah, so but that's why I was gonna say yeah. that because then it'd be such a nice like humbling wake up call to them when they're actually yeah. like, oh, I just want to fucking beat someone up, and then all of a sudden it's like. Yeah, no, nah, actually. Yeah, and all fighters who are good fighters, like they got, they're not bad people. They're not tough guys. You will never see like that. that sorry, they're tough guys, but not the way we're talking was, about these. I, f- I feel like they go very under the radar. Exactly. Like you wouldn't pick. Like it could be a string bean, uh, some lanky guy that you're like, oh, I could eat. Like I'll push. It. But then he's been training. He's been doing mixed martial arts for the best part of eight years. Yeah. And all that, that if shit hit the fan, Mm -hmm. he could happily put you on the ground and lay you out. The toughest guys will always pass up a fighting opportunity. They'll sit there and be like, in the back of their head, I I could lay you out faster than you could react. It's almost just not worth it. It's not worth it. I I gain nothing. These people are sparring and fighting every single day. Like literally every single day. Why would they risk... The everything they've grown. I was going to say, isn't there quite a lot of consequences if they do get found out as well? Like if you're like at at a dojo or a training like facility, like the like I don't don't know what you call. I'm I'm telling you, where I train, if someone come in and they're like, had two guys that were you know a bit cocky on the weekend, so I pieced them up. Look at my knuckles; they're scratched to shit. Everyone in the gym would be. Do you just get like blacklisted, like banned, more or less? Some places, yeah, like shunned. Like it's very like we don't want you. Unless, Unless. The situation was you completely like, like defended your, no, 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 just no, okay. defending yourself. Right. If someone's being too pushy and they're threatening people around you and you've defended yourself, by all means. But it's so easy to walk away. It's so easy to walk away. The only, but I will give people out sometimes if maybe they realize, hey, these drunk got like, they've been picking on every person who walks through this door, they're just waiting for someone. And you might notice, and you might be the fourth that's come by their path and they're, and you go, actually, I'm looking at it. I can fight all these innocent people who are trying to enjoy their night. Every person that walks past, anyone, if they just react a little bit, they're trying to fight. Shut down those situation scenarios. Yeah, all good. But yeah, you never go out of your way. Never go out of your way. Only the flogs do. Uh, interesting. That's a good insight. Thank you for that. Mm, yeah. One away with a bit of knowledge. Yeah. And you Sorry. know the ones, the flogs you were talking about, the footy field who like, yes. they want to fight. The reason they don't, they never come back, like they might do a training session once or twice. They can't handle it because fighters are so nice. Right? So they've That's come true. from a world where it's like they're trying to be aggressive flogs to other aggressive flogs. And then they've come into the gym, I feel got like- pieced apart by someone who's just mucking around having fun. I feel like they fighting with aggression isn't great An ego. I, I don't feel like that would help you in any situation. Yeah. There's, uh, I feel against like someone I f- you... And, sorry, I guess a fighter, no, but sometimes if you're finding someone who knows nothing and you've just got pure aggression... Then like, I guess, like, yeah, it can help you maybe, like, take it, take some hits to, like, a different level. Maybe it helps give you a bit more power. But I feel like the best thing to do in a fight would be more like calm, collected, mm. just zen, for better or for worse. Yeah. It's just very relaxed, like very just like control you. your breathing, just like, mm. yep, cool. Like, oh, just, yeah. Just, just let it happen. If you, if you, I'm telling Isn't you. Because you're just going to throw wild punches that don't ex- land exactly. and they're just erratic. Like If you think of your pub flog who like might have a bit of a gut and they've just started throwing – and you know yeah, how, they can you get know a how lucky to block. Punch, yeah, but, like, but if you know how to fight and you know how to block. Defend you, yourself. You, you're just blocking for about 20 seconds. They're going to get tired real quick. They run quick. out of gas and then you just, just pick whack them, them apart. Pick them apart. Whack? Yeah, just a kick to the legs. That, like, honestly, if you <laughs> there's no one who fights at pubs that would expect a kick to the legs. Well, that's... That is so true. No. So you've just like blown my mind as you said that. Yeah, exactly. You've got, I don't even think anyone got, would think to kick the legs, no one, just in no general. One, uh, also, t- I'll tell you this, right? Someone's throwing. If I grab, if sorry, not me. If someone, gra- if a Muay Thai fighter grabbed them in a clinch, right? And now they're just trying to swing and their arms aren't nothing. Mate, they're not expecting a knee to the head, a knee to the guts. And then you hold them and you've got enough strength to make sure they don't move. And you're just kneeing. Yeah, yeah repeatedly. Kneeing. Or, and you bring them back up. And they're expecting a massive throw. So they go to throw and you've just elbowed them. Elbowed them. Elbowed them. Yeah, just using, using all parts of your body. You've got all the arsenal and someone's just got punches. 
That's so true. You've yeah. actually just blown my mind but by saying think about that. every pub fight you've seen. Just yeah, it's just haymakers. Because fighters don't wild, want wild to fight. Throwing punches. In, yeah. Fighters don't put themselves in an environment where they're going to be in a fight. Just And that's why it's so good seeing those videos on the internet when a fighter picks apart someone because it's like, oh, they've been, they've been randomly in a scenario where they have to fight. Yeah. And it's embarrassing. It's always them. awesome to see that, my, my, I must add, where like some like these – People like bullies or like mm. they'll be harassing someone in public, yeah. some guy, and then all of a sudden this guy, just, and then it's just like they sort of get thrown around. Maybe yeah. they hit the deck, and then all of a sudden they're like, "Oh shit!" Like, yeah, we've we fucking chose I, the wrong person mate, to I, fuck around. I'll give, with. You, I'll give you an insight. I've my first fight is on YouTube, right? And I I really don't like it in the way of like I lost, so I don't like that being there. Like that's a bit of a reminder of like fuck, like. You've you lost a fight. Don't get me wrong. There's good things about getting in the ring, and you learn a lot. But I'm like, fuck. Yeah, obviously every- you wish the result went a different way. Yeah, but also it's it's just a reminder of everything I could have done different. So that that's a but big are part. You, of- are you? Are so, you? And sorry to cut you off here. Are you? When you see that video, yes, you're feeling that way. But can you also, in your head, flip it to the sense of like, I can watch this footage back and be like, now I know what to do or like how like, yeah. are you, like have you flipped it to a positive or is yeah. it sort of more no nah, it's still it's more sort of negative just, yeah, okay, yeah right, it's still more right. a negative because I keep thinking back and I go nah nah you you could have done a lot more or you could have won this and you messed up here 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 and here and it's like so you're sort man. of pulling the video apart yeah. and you're really emphasising on the things and, that you did bad and I wouldn't say sometimes it's embarrassing but sometimes it's just more a knock on myself like I'm just like fuck man like this could have been like your moment right so I think about that with my own fight that's online. If I was a fuckhead at a pub, crown casino, restaurant, footy field, whatever, and I got it, and I started a fight and someone beat the shit out of me that and I'm the instigator, I wouldn't want to show my face in public. Oh, you'd be completely embarrassed. I wouldn't want to show my face. So how how do these people do this where there's now footage of them on the internet? Acting like a flog yeah. and then getting destroyed. That, or if oh, that I, would eat away. I'm telling, I'm telling you right now. Especially if your name was connected to it. Everyone Google's. If you if you go on a date with someone, you Google their name. Yeah. All right. If I would be terrified to know that every time someone Google's me, there's that em- absolute embarrassment of what I did. Oh, shit. So, but I guess I don't know. Those people don't think about it that way. That's true. I think about it that way. I think about, I'm like, oh my God, dude, that's... And just, just just as we're coming to the end of the podcast here, and just a question that I wanted to throw to you, because I didn't know that the video of your fight was online. Yeah. Hypothetically speaking, I know that you you have said eventually you'd like to get back in the ring Mm. again one day and get get your win that you're you're, um, striving for, which I think is awesome. If, say, different timeline... For mm. example, if you had won your fight, do you think you'd still be doing fight sale, or would you just be like a one, be like, "Cool, I wanted to see what that was like. I've won one, mm. and I'm content with that." No, the like, or, or would you have fought again? No, I, I know the main reason I did it. The yeah. main reason I did it was because I was going through a breakup. Oh, okay, so that's the main. So, I was very, I very happy with the sport itself, and you were like, but. but through the breakup, I needed things that kept distracting me. Yeah, and, right. And, and so then obviously, like, fight, pract- like yeah, yeah, all the training leading up to the fight. Exactly. Like- and then when I did it, and I was in the ring, and I realized, oh, you, you can win this. You can definitely win this. And then it, the, it just all fall, a- fall apart halfway through the fight. Not all because of me. Yeah, not because right. not any outside not, contributing yeah, there's, factors. No, there's not. It's not my opponent that has now changed up his game plan, or he's um, he's genuinely better than me. It's not that. It's me. And the that fact would have been that, such an in, interesting like experience to have all that rushing through your head at the same time of like I need to defend myself or like yeah. I need to throw this shot or react this way. Like that, yeah. I can't even fathom everything yeah. going through your head. Whilst also, I could only imagine, like, this guy was a bit of a crowd there, by the way. Yeah, well, it's more. Well, I feel like that would have put me off a little bit. I, like, I, looking around and being like, oh, my fucking yeah, God. Yeah, well, if, if we get, 
like deep, like real about it, like at the end here. There was, I shouldn't have done the fight. No, I should have done the fight because to get in the ring itself in front of all those people was like a massive thing in general. Oh shit, like, yeah, to, dude. To get in front and like, and I, and to start off in like the first round specifically to do it and be like, oh, you can. You can do this, like, and, you, and you haven't even scratched the surface of training. Like, you don't, cool. you didn't do this with like a trainer. You just did. Classes you picked it up, night. yeah, and yeah. enjoyed it. And now there wasn't like a main focus. It's like, hey, you're doing classes now. You're doing a fight, and but again, all of it stemmed from going through a breakup, need a distraction. This is this is where it's going to go. Was it sort of like a thing as well? Like, I want to prove to myself that I can do this. Exactly. Yeah. Like, like I think I'm good enough to do this. So I'm going to put like mm. this into action. Yeah, hundred percent. And and the thing is, like, I think he, the self belief that you well, had there is pretty awesome. Um. Yeah. And like the guy, the guy I did the fight with, like now he trains at the gym I train at. And like I remember, it was actually he told me this two weeks ago. He came up to me because we trained together, and he's like, "Oh, did I tell you on our fight? Like the next day, I was like, sp- like literally nearly throwing up blood." And I was like, oh, really? He's like, yeah, because you know how I was hitting him with a lot of body shots? Yes, you were. Yeah, he's like, yeah, they fucked me up. And I was like, oh, yeah. But it was just, again, the result could have been another so. reminder where I was like, okay, because it, all, it all came down to, like, fitness. It came down to um, uh, a mix of uh, just my lung capacity in general, like I've got, a, I've got asthma, and then, but also my fitness as well. I haven't been brought into deep waters like that before. So putting them both together, I, after the second round, I'm like, I can't even hold my hands up. Yeah. So I'm like, first round, I'm like, holy fuck. You doesn't say you came out of the gates. Granted, I know I was recording it for you as yeah, well. Yeah. But man, you came out of the gates. And I was like, as a mate, obviously, the whole time I'm watching this, butterflies in my stomach. I've, I want to throw up. I want to see you do well mm. because I know like how much this means to you. Yep. And that's the thing as well. Like you were, you didn't, you weren't shying away from the fact that you were having a fight. Mm. Like you've asked people, like you, you were genuinely like, "Hey, I'm having, it's up to you whether you want to watch me or not." Yeah, the support would mean heaps. Yep, and all that. But it's, so, and I'm like, mate, it's my best mate. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch you. Yeah. I want to be there. Definitely. I want to support you. And can I, can I be like, if I'm real as like honest, real honest right now? To, I, I was just a bit too in my head with everything and I wasn't focusing on the things I should have focused on and then inviting everyone in to then do that. And I couldn't, if I did it with no one around, like if I did it with no one, cause I had like three of my closest mates ever. You're my best mate. Um, you brought one of our mutual friends, have my brother. And then obviously people I train with. And I look back and I'm like, fuck, you done one fight. And then everyone like you care about was there and watched you loss, and that was like a big. I, hit. I was, I'm, I'm yeah. glad. I'm uh, like, it's awesome that you're comfortable to talk about. Yeah, so about because I feel like I haven't had a fight. The only situation that I can even relate it to, and I can't relate it to, because I, I haven't been in the ring. I don't know what it's like. Mm. The only thing in my head that I'm like, oh, I've told mate, is when I went for my license and I failed. Yeah, and well, stuff like that. But because I after the fight, I remember I was like, man, I want to just come up to you and be like, mate, I'm incredibly like the fact that you even put yourself in that position is incredible. Mm. But I also know you very well, where it's like I I got the sense of like where it's like, fuck, I'm glad that my mates are here to watch me, but at the same time, like, I just want to like. I'm, I'm not happy that I lost. Mm. Like, I, thank you for coming up to me and saying hi, but at the same time, just leaving the, like, I just want to go home. Like, just leaving the fuck alone sort of yeah, thing as yeah, well, it in was, that sense. It was, it was real hard because the, the hardest part is a reminder because I train with the guy currently and I've also done days where our gyms have mixed and I've sparred him again. And I go on, I'm like, oh, no, I'm, I'm better, better than you. Than you. Yeah. Not in a cocky way. I like I'm really not trying to be cocky. But your technique, There's like so many other people that it. can pick me apart. They're so good, and I'm like, oh, glad I didn't go up against you. But every time I think about it, I'd be, I'd much rather talk to my because I feel, I feel, I hate with it that I feel like I'm making excuses, and I don't like that. And I'm, but I would much rather say like, bro, you know that guy. I'm, I went up against like fuck. He's doing his next fight. Like he just keeps getting better and better and yeah, better. Yeah, but the like, fact that it he's hasn't so happened. Ta- he's so talented. Like I, I was so glad to get that experience. I just keep looking back and going, I could have fucking beat it, beat you. It came. It literally came down to, um, 
they he had like a whole fight camp set up. Like you know how like Volkanovski does that kind of thing. Yeah. Like if anyone's not, well, they go it, away. They, and they it's go just away and specifically it's, that. Yeah, he's like, like there's me, no like, there's no outside world other yeah. contributing factors. It's just. Fighting, sparring, yeah. and he training, did like five k runs every day. He's do, he's training yeah, so he's But then, fitness. but then I have to give complete credit because I'm using the fight as this is something cool to get experience, but this is to get out of my head about this breakup, right? And I cannot, I am not a, I no, I shouldn't, I shouldn't knock back the fact that this guy trained his ass. Yeah, he worked Don't his ass off for the fight. I think I'm a better fighter, but he. Trained his ass off. So yeah, but that, that fight specifically, bike. though, yeah. he he was better prepared. He was ten. He was times, well better prepared. Ten and times better prepared. Like you said, you, you've gone into it to take your mind off the breakup. That's obviously still a contributing factor in the back of your brain, whether mm. whether you're thinking about it or not. But it's still it was still there. Yeah, as well. So your mind isn't completely solely focused on like on the outside. You'd be like, oh, I'm not even worried about the breakup. Like I'm just, but it's still there. Yeah, it's still fucking there. Your whole, your your whole, uh, you weren't giving. You, you may have been giving ninety nine percent, but there still would have been one percent on that. You, yeah. your mind wasn't clear, so you couldn't just focus on that sole fight. Yeah, and I, I would, which is I, always I, I, wouldn't, throw I, wouldn't, I wouldn't give it as an excuse. I would, I would just, I, I'm, my goal is to do it again. I have some plans to get back in the ring because I want to get that win back. But I've already made up my mind that. Um, it's going to be for me. And what I mean is, um, and this isn't disrespect to anyone I know, but no one will know about it. That's that's completely fair I'm, enough. I'm doing it solely for, I want to get my win back to know I can do it. Yeah, you want that redemption. Yeah, but I also don't want to put the pressure of having friends watching and all that kind of stuff. So there's going to be a time, I, I promise you on this, there's going to be a time once I get whatever's going on with me, Fixed sorted. up, yeah. Once I get that sorted, and I can step back in the ring, and you feel gonna, comfortable, yeah. There's going to be a day I sit back on the pod, and I'm like, mate, got my win the other day, and then you. I, like, I, yeah. I can't wait to hear that story, yeah. man. I'm I'm looking forward yeah. to that. So that that's the goal, but I think it's just I can't help it, but there is that. It's not embarrassment, but just the feeling of it could have gone so much, it could have gone so different, and it was all up to me. And I wish I could go back in time and like grab that guy and be like, "Can't, you don't know it, but like this guy's like training so hard. You are, you can do ten times better. Your technique beats his every day of the week. But can't he's it? He it is five. You're in bed and he's out running. So he just wanted I, it for that fight. Then granted as yeah. well, like it's brand new to you. Yeah, but and it wasn't his. That, his fight against you wasn't his first fight either. No, it was his. So. So he's fit. he's he's well conditioned. He's prepared. He knows what goes into it. Yeah, and but, and but it's at the not time, excuse. It's no, not no, like, no, no. Yeah. But like, but he and I'm and I'm not saying that it is an excuse. But probably his mindset is like, and obviously he doesn't know your side of the story, well, unless you've told him. But like, yeah, he's just better conditioned. He was he was ready, and you yeah. you just yeah, 100%. he was better conditioned. He he wanted it mm. more. Like he he took the fight a bit more serious. I will I will say though, it did make me learn. Like for the next one, I'm. I'm just, I'm going to be like, dude, train harder and harder and harder and get ready and cover all bases and be be ready. Don't Because that, that time it was like, let's see how you go in the ring, dude. Let's just see how you go. But now it's like, no, no, you're, I'm not fucking getting but, in there to lose. But see, I think, and I, I know that you hate it. I know that you hate that you lost mm. and all that. But I love, I love though how you've gone about the loss. mm like I like in major respect to mate, I couldn't think of yeah. anything scarier than jumping in a ring. Thanks. So the fact that you even like did that alone, yeah, my utmost respect. I'm not just saying that because I'm I'm a, I'm a close mate, best mate. Yeah. I'm genuinely from the bottom of my heart. Mm. The fact that you were able to put yourself in a situation where I would have been shitting myself in front of people that I don't even fucking know, mm. let alone my mates. And all that, like, just full fucking credit to you, no, mate. Like that, that is actually, that is fucking incredible that, that you were able to lot, do that. That actually means a lot, man. So because so I, I there I is not a it. chance in hell. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how good I thought, man, I, there's no way. Yeah. So the fact that you were able to do it and still hold your head high, and have a chat with myself and your other mates that were there after mm. the fight, you gave them the time of day. You did, weren't just like fuck it, like I'm just yeah. going to leave through the back or yep. whatever. Like the fact that you actually took the time to have a conversation, like. Guys, if you don't mind, I'm you know, just gonna just want to do my 
Yeah. Mate, I, yeah, fucking. No, I appreciate that, bro. And it just, it goes to show like how important the training is. Um, so I can't knock my opponent's performance. Like he, he trained very hard. I just, in my heart, know I'm the better fighter. So next time, just going to be a lot more prepared. I like feel like I'm so genuinely much. listening to like a, um, like a, just a boxing UFC. Like I'm hyped for you how you go about this oh, next thanks, thing yeah. and all that. I feel like you're you've you were able to, despite the loss, take away so many valuable experiences. Mm. You've got a taste for it now. You know like what you can do better. You know how to better yourself. And I just I personally believe, man, and knowing who you are as a person. Such a hard workout when you like when you want something. I know for a fact that you'll achieve it to the best of your ability, mm. and your determination is fucking unreal, man. Like I'm not saying this to gas you up or gaslight you, feed an ego mm. or anything like that. But I just know when this next fight, whenever that may be, mm. and all that, I just know that you will have put yourself in the best possible position to be ready for it. Yeah, and I fear for the person that you take on Thanks, because bro. I know that there's a switch in you. That as soon as you cross that line, that so-called mm. white line, I just know like, and I fear. Yeah. I really do fear for the person that you come up against Thanks, because bro. you're going to be so ready to fucking rock and roll. Mm. And when whether whether the podcast is still happening or not, even to fucking hear the story, man, of how you went about that. Now I'm I mm. looking so for. I hope the podcast is still running when the fight does happen because yeah. I think it would be cool to come from this podcast here. And then just see like everything that I, I yeah yeah no I got um yeah I got some goals with it like a hundred percent I just want to I usually the fights where it happens get filmed so my goal it could be six months it could be a year it could be two years I don't know but all I know is I'm getting that win back no matter what um and then if I lose again I'll keep going until I get the win because I know I can do it. That's but fucking awesome. I love that. The the main thing is, yeah, 100%. Not even my girlfriend will know. I'm not going to tell a thing. Cause like Just it's, solely to you. It's like someone who does, um, I don't know if it's kept, but you know how some, someone might do charity work and you don't even know it. It's because they want to do it for themselves. Like yeah, they're they not doing it to get, get any yeah. praise from anyone else. Yeah. And no one else needs to know, by the way, dude. Yeah, exactly. So like now you, I'm just like. like that, That's solely yeah. like your own thing. Yeah, get that back. Don't make any excuses about it. Just accept the last loss. But yeah, if I, if I want to be real, like if I'm to end it on this, if I want to be real, it was really hard losing in front of like loved ones. Yeah, like a, it was. Oh like man, it, I... a, it's different with like. If I ever lost a football game, basketball game, tennis match, didn't matter because tennis there's doubles, football there's a team. Yeah, basketball, you're surrounded by. Another... It's just you. It's solely yeah. you. Everything is on. You, There's yourself, so many, the individual. It's so, it's such an easier loss when it's a team sport. It's like, yeah, it stings, but it's like but there's so many other factors contributing factors, play. and you can sort of not not that not that people put the blame, but you can you can sort of shift the blame. You can be like, oh well, our back line let in too many goals, or when I was mm. playing, but well, that per, buddy James didn't defend that yeah. well. That's I dropped the reason a few why. catches, but fucking Andrew, he yeah, just, but, he missed. Well, three he didn't goals. even yeah, yeah playing cricket. Like, oh yeah, look, I know that I dropped a catch, but fuck. He he didn't even he he got out for a duck. Mm. <laughs> he didn't even make one run for us. So how did that help? Yeah, exactly. Sort of thing. So it's true. But I, I man, even after the loss, I just remember obviously recording your fight for you as well. Mm. I just remember like when that end result, I was just like, fuck. Like again, I can't I can't put into words how you were feeling. But I for myself, like I I think I was just so upset for you because I just mm. know how much like this meant so like yeah and I just know how how much you wanted to win and all that. so I think it was hard even like seeing you after the fight like it was hard to I think I was a little bit because I was like fuck I just know like that you'll be upset with yours like mm. yourself and like that yeah. disappointment feeling like yeah, I don't I- want to put the words in your mouth because that's not it's not fair but it was just hard to sort of see because obviously I'm incredibly proud like my mate's just fucking Done something that again I would never do. I know I've said that a lot. <laughs> so, <laughs> but yeah, to see you and stuff like that was it was just I I was sort of like fuck. Like I feel mm. like I'm going to tear up because like I just know how badly you wanted this. Yeah, it was it was definitely more like first round. I was just getting my feet, and then I'm like landing some things, and I'm like, oh shit! Like you're dropping him, landing a few kicks. Fuck, you landed some good shots. Like I'm like, holy fuck, this is awesome. And then I just go back to the 
my corner and I'm like, <gasps> oh my God. Like I was just, it honestly felt, if I'm honest, I was, I'll, I'll be completely honest here. I was worried because I bought, I told a fighter that I was with, hey, can you give the corner my puffer? Because I don't know how this is going to go. And then he brought it, but he didn't have it on him and I didn't want to ask either. I felt I was in a weird spot where yeah, right. he's, he's giving me water. And Which is I'm, awesome. And I'm just, and and then he's trying to give me advice and I'm like phased out. Like I can't even hear him. In your own And world. then he stopped giving me water. I'm like, and I'm like, water, water. Because my throat was dry. And like the best way I can explain it, I said this to someone yesterday and it's hard because I want to stop talking about it. But I also... Well, I think it's good that you are talking about it. In yeah, but I, well. I also, I hate it in training. The best way I can put it is when I train and it, things get harder, as in the fitness level, um, when I get pushed to the limit a bit. Have you ever eaten a wheat bix like a dry wheat bix Yes. That's what my throat is. Oh, fuck. That's, that's literally what oh, it is. Oh, I'm sorry. That's horrible. So that's... That's, that's, so that's, that's sec- a shit So feeling. second round, I'm like holding my hands up like, fuck. and I'm thinking like, fuck man, if this goes any longer, they might have to call an ambulance because you might collapse. Like I'm just like sitting there like worried. Fuck. So, and then, uh, and then it kind of just got way worse over time. And now there's things, there's, um, there's things that have come into play that are actually helping it out a bit, which are good, but yeah, long story short, like that was affecting it. And now I'm just trying different ways to combat combat that but i would part of me was like thinking oh dude you're like you're losing like you can't even hold your hands up like it's hopefully you don't get knocked out but the other part of me was like can't you gonna be leaving here like actually like (laughs) able to like like, like, walk out yeah i was like fuck you should have asked for your puffer like you should have just you should have just forgot what everyone else would think and be like nah dude give me like yeah give me part of my puffer so but yeah goals moving here ahead you don't even, mate, in all don't, seriousness, yeah. don't but, keep them to yourself, I reckon. Because yeah. when you get to that point, mm. it's going to be the best fucking feeling ever, dude. So, yeah. obviously, if you want to put it into the world, by all means. But mm. I think I think just keep on doing what you're doing right mm. now. Just keep it to you. It's your thing. Yep. And all that. And then, yeah, when we come back to it, where whenever that time may be, mm. whether, again, whether it's on this or just we're catching up as mates, having a few cold ones, mm. that story is going to be incredible yeah. to hear. I'll agree with that completely. So, yeah, I'll make sure it's um, got the video for it when it comes to and we'll watch it back. And Looking forward to it, mate. I'm yeah. very excited very for you. good. Ya. But, yeah, I just the, – the one main thing, I just don't want to do any more excuses. And it's just – sometimes it can be hard. Like, so, like I'll just give one example. The other day, like, I had to run to my bag to run my puffer. I don't want – when the coach asked me, what are you doing? I don't want to tell him – what's going on with my throat and how it feels and everything. I feel like I have to because it looks like I'm not putting in the work. Yeah. So I don't want to give excuses, but sometimes I feel like I fucking have to. But yeah, literally this year I'm like, I, I just don't want excuses. Like that's the main goal and then the fight. So let's see how we go. I'm excited for it, mm. man. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you, bro. I'm looking forward to it big time. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Morocco with two eyes. We'll see you in the next one. And boom. Boom. Boom.